M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. Just got the FTM 400 running with the HRI 200 box. Why do we use the HRI 200 box? Because we get our own room and we also can use analog FM, no problem at all, which means we can use any analog FM radio, even a Bofung with the WireZX system, which looks like this. And you do need to register with WireZX which you do here, I'll put a link in the description. Very simple, just send them an email and they send you a form to fill out and you get your room number and node number. Then you need to put your radio into HRI 200 mode. So you hold down both the red buttons and this will work with the SCU 20 cable as well. Uh, and then turn on the radio and you're in HRI 200. And at the moment we're seeing a frequency here which is set in the software and we can now use our handheld to then talk via the FTM 400 as you could see there and what it will do it will come out on the WireZX system here when we're connected it will come out here and you'll just show up in green around here somewhere when you tear so let's just show you how it connects so we've got a USB cable I'm going to show you from from the from the back um, just connected to our our laptop running the software of course you need to run the driver but that is all sent to you when you register with WireZX Yesu. From the back here, you can see the gray, no, there's a lot of leads here, but there's a gray 10 pin lead here that is going into the FTM 400, then into radio one, it says on the back here. I know it's not the brightest, clearest, but that says radio one. That's your USB connector. Try and get some light here that goes to the laptop. So that's, it's very straightforward. You can have a second radio, but this is, this is the simple way. So once on, the idea is that we get our hand held and we look at the system here and we try and call out. I know, I know it's not a greatest picture. I'm just going to TX here and it should go green here. So let's just check our connection a minute. So there you go. It will just key up M0 FXB test. You can see it went green there. Now that could be an analog radio. I'll just switch over now. So all you do is go File, Transceiver, and then here, it will reboot your radio. Uh, you have to disconnect from the connection you're on, so click OK. Up here, click Disconnect, where it says Connect there, Disconnect. Then go to Transceiver, File, Transceiver, and then here we can select. You can only do this with a HRI box unless you've got an SCU20 kit, and it's, I don't think that's as good myself. Anyway, for, we can set the frequency here, digital or analog. So click OK, the radio reboots. And we're now in FM mode. It means I can now switch any radio into FM mode. So just change the mode here. So now FM. And when we key back on the WireZX system here, we have to reconnect again. Let's connect to uh, CQ UK. So we're connected, but now we're going in via FM. So I can get my, I could get my old Bofeng out and, and do it if I really wanted to. M0 FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check. And then if any, someone comes back, the audio will actually come out of this handheld. It won't come out of the radio because whichever radio is connected to your HRI 200 is, uh, is you can't TX or RX with it, well, maybe you'll receive them. Anyway, it's, it's acting like a big hotspot. Now, when you use the SCU 20K, well, that's completely different. Uh, then you can, you know, you can do all, all kinds of stuff, but it, and that is probably the simplest way of doing things. But if you like playing around with the box, if you want your own room, if you want to um, switch from FM analog to digital, just whenever you feel like it, then the HRI 200 box is the way to go. And they're inexpensive, they're 130 pounds. So that's it really, that's your setup there. So 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air.